Have you ever felt imprisoned by your own emotions, as if they dictated every step you take? Have you wondered what it would be like to live more lightly, not being dragged along by internal storms? Emotional detachment is the key to this freedom. Imagine facing your daily challenges with serenity, maintaining inner peace even in the most turbulent times. In this guide, we invite you to embark on a transformative journey. We will explore the power of emotional detachment, a skill that can revolutionize your mental health and relationships. Discover how science explains this practice and learn effective techniques to incorporate it into your life. Together, we will unveil how to differentiate detachment from indifference and how to apply it in various areas of your daily life. Are you ready to challenge your own emotional limitations and discover a path to a more balanced and fulfilling life? Then come with us and prepare to profoundly transform your relationship with your emotions and live with a lighter heart and a more peaceful mind. Emotional Detachment, an essential tool for mental and emotional well-being. Emotional detachment is an essential tool for mental and emotional well-being. This concept refers to the ability to manage our emotions healthily, preventing negative feelings from taking control of our lives. By cultivating detachment, people can achieve a sense of inner peace and emotional balance, fundamental elements for a harmonious life. It is not about avoiding or suppressing emotions, but about approaching them from a perspective that allows us to understand them without being dominated by them. Emotional detachment invites us to recognize our emotions, accept their presence, and deal with them constructively. In this way, it is possible to maintain a serene posture in the face of adversity and daily challenges. The practice of emotional detachment involves developing skills in self-awareness and self-regulation, allowing us to respond to situations with clarity and discernment. This concept serves as a foundation for understanding the importance and benefits of detachment in various areas of life. By adopting emotional detachment, we make room for a more fulfilling and satisfying existence, where we are capable of interacting with the world and the people around us in a more balanced and compassionate manner. This practice not only provides an introduction to the practice of detachment, but also establishes the premise for exploring its profound implications in our interpersonal relationships and personal growth. In this context, detachment does not mean an absence of feelings, but a way of living fully with an open heart and a clear mind. It teaches us to appreciate the present without clinging excessively to the past or worrying too much about the future. Thus, we can build a more balanced and gratifying life where emotional well-being is a constant and inner peace becomes a natural state. The Science of Detachment The science of emotional detachment offers a fascinating perspective on how our brain processes and regulates its emotions, elucidating the importance of this practice for psychological well-being. Understanding brain function allows us to appreciate the underlying mechanisms of detachment and its ability to promote a more balanced and resilient emotional state. Our brain is a complex network of interconnected areas, each playing specific roles in managing our emotions. The prefrontal cortex, located at the front of the brain, is crucial for reasoning, decision-making, and executive control. It allows us to analyze situations, plan actions, and regulate our emotional responses. When we exercise emotional detachment, we activate and strengthen this region, enhancing our ability to assess and respond to experiences in a balanced manner. Additionally, the limbic system, located deeper in the brain, is responsible for processing emotions. Components such as the amygdala, which detects threats and generates fear responses, and the hippocampus, involved in forming emotional memories, play crucial roles in our emotional experience. The interaction between the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system is essential for achieving a healthy state of detachment. The prefrontal cortex modulates the emotional responses generated by the limbic system, allowing us to respond with greater calmness and rationality. Scientific studies show that regular practice of emotional detachment can lead to a significant reduction in stress levels and an increase in emotional resilience. 
These studies indicate that individuals who cultivate detachment are better able to handle adversity and recover quickly from stressful events. The neuroscience of detachment also reveals that this practice can positively alter brain structure and function, promoting a state of lasting well-being. Benefits of Emotional Detachment The benefits of emotional detachment are vast and impact various areas of life, offering a profound transformation in the way we face challenges and interact with the world around us. By incorporating emotional detachment into our daily lives, we pave the way for a series of advantages that enrich our mental and emotional health. One of the main benefits of emotional detachment is improved mental clarity. When we detach from negative emotions and obsessive thoughts, our mind becomes more focused and lucid. This state of clarity enables us to make more informed and rational decisions, increasing our efficiency in daily tasks and long-term goals. The mind freed from emotional bonds can operate with enhanced precision and objectivity. Moreover, emotional detachment increases our resilience in the face of adversity. The ability to handle difficulties without being overwhelmed by them is essential for personal growth. Individuals who practice emotional detachment can face stressful situations with a more balanced posture, recovering more quickly from setbacks. This resilience is a vital quality that allows us to navigate life's inevitable storms with greater serenity and confidence. Interpersonal relationships also significantly strengthen with emotional detachment. When we are not bound by unrealistic expectations or past resentments, we can interact with others more authentically and compassionately. Detachment allows us to appreciate people for who they are without the need to shape or control them. This creates an environment of mutual trust and respect where relationships can thrive in a healthy and satisfying way. Another crucial advantage of emotional detachment is the promotion of a general state of well-being and tranquility. By freeing ourselves from excessive emotional control, we experience a sense of inner peace that permeates all aspects of our life. This tranquility allows us to enjoy the present fully without being haunted by past regrets or future anxieties. Furthermore, emotional detachment enables us to focus our efforts on personal and professional goals more effectively. Free from the burden of uncontrolled emotions, we can direct our energy toward what truly matters, achieving goals with greater efficiency and satisfaction. This enhanced focus is essential for success and fulfillment in various spheres of life. Difference between detachment and indifference. One of the biggest confusions surrounding the concept of emotional detachment is its differentiation from indifference. Although they may appear similar at first glance, these two attitudes are fundamentally distinct in their nature and their effects on emotional well-being. Emotional detachment is a conscious practice that involves accepting and understanding our emotions without letting them dominate us. It requires a high degree of self-awareness and self-control, allowing us to experience and process feelings in a healthy way. Detachment does not deny or suppress emotions. Instead, it promotes a balanced approach where we recognize and confront our feelings without becoming slaves to them. This practice empowers us to maintain serenity and balance even in the face of emotional challenges, contributing to robust and sustainable mental well-being. On the other hand, indifference is characterized by a state of disinterest and emotional disconnection. When a person is indifferent, they tend not to care or emotionally engage with the situations around them. This state can be a defensive response to painful experiences but often results in a significant disconnection from one's own emotions and the emotions of others. Indifference may indicate underlying emotional problems such as apathy or depression and is generally detrimental both to mental health and to interpersonal relationships. While detachment promotes a healthy engagement with our emotions, indifference reflects an absence of engagement. Detachment allows us to interact with the world in a more conscious and compassionate manner without being dragged down by the emotional waves we face. It equips us with the ability 
to respond to situations with clarity and discernment, maintaining an open heart and a calm mind. In contrast, indifference can lead to emotional isolation, where the person becomes insensitive not only to their own emotions, but also to those of others. This state can profoundly damage personal relationships, creating barriers that prevent true connection and empathy. Indifference can make interactions become superficial and devoid of meaning, negatively affecting both personal and professional life. Therefore, it is crucial to understand that emotional detachment is a healthy and balanced practice aimed at well-being and emotional resilience. While indifference represents a harmful distancing from emotions, understanding this difference is essential for cultivating deeper and more meaningful relationships and for promoting a healthy and balanced emotional state. The true essence of detachment lies in the ability to navigate emotions with wisdom and compassion without succumbing to disinterest or emotional disconnection. Detachment and Self-Esteem Emotional detachment is intrinsically linked to self-esteem, forming a symbiotic relationship that strengthens mental and emotional health. By learning to detach from negative emotions and internal criticisms, people can develop a more positive and healthy self-image, promoting a sense of self-worth that is resilient and self-sustaining. The process of emotional detachment involves freeing oneself from the shackles of self-critical thoughts and external expectations that often distort our perception of ourselves. When we practice detachment, we begin to view our flaws and imperfections from a more compassionate and less punitive perspective. This healthy distance allows us to focus on our personal growth and on building a self-image based on our own values and achievements rather than on the impositions or judgments of others. Detaching from internal criticisms and the negative emotions that haunt us creates space for genuine self-acceptance. This state of acceptance enables us to recognize our own dignity and intrinsic value, regardless of external circumstances or the opinions of others. As we cultivate this perspective, our self-confidence strengthens, creating a solid foundation on which we can build robust and lasting self-esteem. The practice of emotional detachment also empowers us to free ourselves from external expectations, which are often sources of stress and dissatisfaction. By focusing on our own growth and goals, instead of trying to meet the demands of others, we can align our actions with our true desires and aspirations. This alignment promotes a sense of authenticity and fulfillment, which is essential for healthy self-esteem. Furthermore, by emotionally distancing ourselves from external criticisms and expectations, we can engage in self-reflection and self-improvement in a more objective and constructive manner. This approach allows us to identify areas for improvement without feeling discouraged or overwhelmed by negativity. Self-assessment based on detachment is therefore more balanced and positive, facilitating continuous growth and personal development. Discussing the connection between emotional detachment and self-esteem helps to reinforce the importance of detachment as a powerful tool for improving mental and emotional health. By promoting a positive self-image and unshakable self-confidence, emotional detachment offers a path to personal fulfillment and well-being. It teaches us to value who we are, regardless of external circumstances, and to find strength in our own resilience and capacity for growth. Meditation Techniques for Detachment Meditation is a powerful and effective practice for cultivating emotional detachment, offering tools to develop greater awareness and control over our emotions. By incorporating techniques such as mindfulness, guided meditations, and breathing exercises into our daily routine, we can learn to observe our emotions in a detached manner without becoming overly involved with them. Mindfulness the practice of mindfulness or full attention is essential for emotional detachment. It involves paying attention to the present moment intentionally and without judgment. Sitting in a quiet place, closing your eyes, and focusing on your breath are the first steps. As thoughts and emotions arise, the technique is to acknowledge them without clinging to them, 
allowing them to pass like clouds in the sky. This regular exercise helps develop the ability to observe our emotions objectively, reducing the emotional impact they may have. Guided Meditations Guided meditations are excellent for beginners or those seeking specific guidance to achieve emotional detachment. These meditations, available on various apps and online platforms, guide the practitioner through visualizations and soothing instructions that promote acceptance and the release of negative emotions. Following a guided meditation on detachment can help create a mindset of acceptance and detachment, providing a clear roadmap for dealing with difficult emotions. Breathing Exercises Breathing techniques are fundamental in meditation and are particularly effective for emotional detachment. Exercises like deep breathing, where you inhale slowly through the nose, hold the air for a few seconds, and exhale slowly through the mouth, can calm the nervous system and promote a state of relaxation. Practicing diaphragmatic breathing or square breathing, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, of equal duration, can help center the mind and reduce emotional reactivity, facilitating detachment. Loving-Kindness Meditation This specific technique involves sending feelings of love and kindness to oneself and others. It starts by repeating phrases of well-being and happiness for oneself and gradually expands to include other people, from loved ones to acquaintances, and finally to those with whom one has difficulties. This practice can promote a sense of connection and compassion, reducing negative feelings and facilitating emotional detachment. Body Scan The body scan is a meditative practice that involves focusing attention on different parts of the body, usually starting from the feet and moving up to the head. This technique helps increase bodily and emotional awareness, allowing the practitioner to observe where tensions and emotions are stored in the body. By identifying and releasing these tensions, it is possible to cultivate greater detachment from negative emotions. Meditative journaling. Although not a traditional meditation, writing in a journal in a meditative manner can be a powerful tool for emotional detachment. Dedicating a few minutes each day to write about thoughts and emotions uncensored allows these feelings to be processed and released, promoting greater clarity and detachment. If you've made it this far, it's because you are among the few who can maintain focus on their goals. Please leave a comment so I can know who you are, as if you just watch without interacting. I won't be able to perceive you. By leaving a comment, we can connect. Let's continue this journey together. Detachment in Romantic Relationships In the context of romantic relationships, practicing emotional detachment can be a powerful key to avoiding excessive dependencies and cultivating a more balanced and harmonious coexistence. Emotional autonomy, respecting individual spaces and feelings, is essential. After all, detaching is not synonymous with coldness or disinterest. On the contrary, it is a way of nurturing love in a more mature and conscious manner. When it comes to applying detachment in effective bonds, many might misinterpret it as suggesting a distancing or lack of care. However, true detachment lies in the ability to love without possessing, to be together without overwhelming. It's about understanding that each person has their own path and individual needs, which must be respected for the relationship to flourish healthily. Discussing and exploring how to incorporate detachment into romantic relationships is a way to enrich and strengthen emotional ties. This practice not only preserves the individuality of each partner, but also creates space for each to grow and develop independently while sharing a journey together. By cultivating detachment, we are in fact creating an environment where mutual trust thrives and where love manifests in a fuller and more meaningful way. It is a skill that, once developed, has the potential to profoundly transform our relationships, making them more enduring and less subject to emotional turbulence. Therefore, Considering detachment as an integral part of a romantic relationship is not only beneficial, it is an evolutionary way of loving. It invites us to reflect on how we can be better, more aware partners, and above all, more connected to our own well-being 
and that of our partner. By adopting this stance, we not only strengthen our relationships, but also become more complete and fulfilled individuals. Detachment in Family Dynamics Family relationships, often laden with emotions and expectations, can significantly benefit from the practice of emotional detachment. This is not a process of emotional distancing, but rather a strategy for managing internal conflicts and expectations, promoting an environment of greater peace and mutual understanding. Maintaining a balanced and healthy perspective on obligations and interactions within the family is crucial to preserving the emotional well-being of all involved. The practice of detachment here involves recognizing and accepting that each family member has their own life experiences, desires, and paths, which do not always coincide with what we expect or wish for them. Exploring detachment in family dynamics allows each individual to express their true nature without the burden of others' expectations. This facilitates the resolution of tensions and misunderstandings as each person feels freer to share their true perspectives and needs without fear of judgment or rejection. This topic suggests that by adopting detachment in the family context, we are in fact promoting an environment of greater acceptance and understanding. By accepting that we cannot control the choices and behaviors of others, even within our own family, we make room for a more harmonious and less conflictual coexistence. Practicing detachment at home does not mean a lack of love or indifference. On the contrary, it means loving freely and without impositions, respecting the individuality of each one, and understanding that sometimes the best way to care is to allow the other to be who they are without restrictions or expectations. In this way, we cultivate stronger and more loving family relationships based on mutual respect and emotional freedom. Detachment in the workplace. In the corporate setting, the implementation of emotional detachment emerges as a transformative element capable of enhancing productivity and accentuating professionalism. Differentiating between personal emotions and professional situations is crucial for maintaining focus and efficiency at work, minimizing distractions, and maximizing results. The ability to detach from frustrations and criticisms in the workplace not only promotes a more objective and effective approach, but also preserves mental health. This involves learning not to take challenges and negative feedback personally, viewing them as opportunities for growth and learning rather than insurmountable barriers. This topic proposes strategies for cultivating emotional detachment at work, such as the practice of mindfulness, which helps keep the mind focused and calm in the face of adversity, and the development of a growth mindset, which encourages viewing each obstacle as a chance to evolve professionally. Adopting a stance of detachment at work also means establishing healthy boundaries between personal life and professional responsibilities, ensuring that one does not overwhelm the other. By practicing detachment, professionals can maintain clearer decision-making and interactions, promoting a more harmonious work environment and reducing the likelihood of interpersonal conflicts. Ultimately, strategies for emotional detachment in the workplace not only improve individual performance but also contribute to creating a more resilient and adaptable corporate culture. This type of environment favors not only individual success but also collective growth, positively reflecting throughout the organization. Practicing Detachment in Friendships In friendships, as in other aspects of life, emotional detachment can be extremely beneficial. The ability to manage and, when necessary, disengage from toxic or draining friendships is crucial for maintaining our emotional health. Valuing relationships that bring mutual benefits and learning to detach from those that harm us are important steps in cultivating a more positive and enriching social circle. This topic provides guidance on how to identify friendships that are truly valuable and those that may be causing more harm than good. Recognizing signs of toxicity, such as manipulation, lack of support, or constant disrespect, is the first step in understanding which friendships may not be healthy. From this awareness, one can practice detachment 
which doesn't necessarily mean cutting ties abruptly, but rather adjusting expectations and the energy invested in these relationships. Implementing detachment in friendships also involves cultivating an acceptance that people come into our lives for specific reasons and seasons. Some friendships last a lifetime, while others serve their purpose and naturally dissolve. Accepting this flow is an essential part of maintaining balanced emotional health and being open to new connections that can bring freshness and positive perspectives. Moreover, practicing detachment allows us to value more those friendships that truly contribute positively to our lives. We learn to appreciate each shared moment more and not to overload friends with expectations that may go beyond their capacity or willingness to fulfill. The role of gratitude and detachment. Gratitude, when combined with emotional detachment, becomes an essential tool for those seeking a lighter and more meaningful existence. While detachment teaches us to let go of the worries and regrets that anchor us to the past, gratitude directs us toward an intense appreciation of the now, the blessings, and successes that adorn our daily lives. This combination promotes a mental state where positivity prevails, facilitating the release of emotional burdens that often prevent us from moving forward. By focusing on feelings of gratitude, we minimize the importance of setbacks and maximize our recognition of the good things, a process that naturally distances negative emotions and enhances positive experiences. Reflecting on how gratitude can aid in the process of emotional detachment is an inspiring avenue for those wishing to adopt daily practices that reflect these concepts. For example, dedicating moments for reflection and acknowledgement of daily small victories and joys through a gratitude journal is a practice that solidifies this habit. Such an activity not only reaffirms life's gratifications, but also reshapes our perspective making us realize how many of our afflictions are self-imposed or exacerbated by an excessive focus on the negative. Promoting a grateful and detached approach is essential for a fuller life, less tormented by the weight of the unchangeable and the non-essential. This focus helps us value the present while freeing ourselves from the shackles of dissatisfactions that no longer serve us. The combination of gratitude and detachment lays a robust foundation for a more tranquil and happy journey. By encouraging the audience to practice and integrate these approaches into daily life, we not only contribute to individual well-being, but also cultivate an environment where generosity and personal growth are celebrated, enriching human interactions and expanding the capacity to live and let live with harmony and contentment. Cultivating Emotional Detachment Emotional detachment can be extremely beneficial in achieving a more balanced life, free from unnecessary emotional burdens. Among these practices, keeping a reflective journal, performing mental visualizations, and cultivating self-awareness each play a vital role in developing this fundamental skill. The practice of maintaining a reflective journal is, in itself, a powerful form of introspection. By dedicating time to write about your feelings and experiences, you create a private space to face your emotions in a safe and constructive way. This process not only helps clarify your thoughts, but also initiates a movement toward emotional separation from the situations you experience. Writing allows you to view your emotions from an external perspective, easing the emotional load they may impose, moving on to guided visualizations, a technique proven effective for strengthening the ability to observe one's own emotions detachedly. By visualizing yourself as an observer of your own experiences without judgment or direct involvement, you begin to see your emotions as transient events, not as defining elements of your identity. This practice promotes tranquility and emotional control, helping to remain calm even in the face of significant emotional challenges. Moreover, cultivating self-awareness through moments of reflection on how you react to different daily situations is essential. Whether through meditation or simply pausing for a moment of deep reflection, staying conscious and attentive to your own thoughts and emotions without clinging to them, elevates your ability to remain emotionally stable. This exercise of awareness 
helps develop internal serenity, allowing you to navigate emotional fluctuations more easily. Integrating these practices into your routine not only improves your ability to detach emotionally, but also significantly contributes to your personal growth. This process of detachment is not just about shedding unwanted feelings, but about discovering a space of internal freedom that brings clarity and peace to your daily life. I encourage you to start these practices today and explore the positive changes they can bring to your life. Why not take the first step now and see where this path can lead you? Overcoming Resistance to Detachment Overcoming resistance to emotional detachment is a common challenge faced by many. The fear of losing sentimental connections and ingrained habits often stands as significant obstacles on the path to an emotionally detached life. This segment explores typical barriers and presents effective strategies for overcoming them, emphasizing the importance of persistence and patience in the detachment process. Resistance to detachment often stems from fear of the unknown or difficulty in letting go of familiar comforts, even when they are no longer beneficial. Understanding the nature of these fears is the first step to overcoming them. Recognizing that fear is a natural reaction to change can help lessen its influence on our decisions and behaviors. To tackle these challenges, it is useful to adopt a gradual and compassionate approach Start by identifying small areas where detachment can be applied without great discomfort and gradually move to more challenging aspects of your emotional life. This step-by-step -step method allows for adjustments and learning along the way, making the process less daunting. Moreover, developing a support network is crucial. Talking with friends, family, or professionals who understand your challenges can provide valuable insights and encouragement. The emotional support from others is an invaluable resource when facing deep internal changes. Implementing regular practices of self-awareness, such as meditation or daily reflection, can also be extremely beneficial. These activities help cultivate a more centered mind, less susceptible to emotional fluctuations, reinforcing the ability to remain steadfast in the purpose of detachment even when difficulties arise. The key to overcoming resistance to detachment lies in consistency and patience with your own progress. Each step, no matter how small, is a crucial part of the journey toward a more free and authentic life. Therefore, it is essential to embrace the process with an open heart and a mind willing to explore new possibilities of existence, free from the shackles of past emotions and outdated behaviors. I encourage you to move forward with determination and curiosity, allowing each new experience to strengthen your resilience and expand your ability to live with emotional freedom. Detachment and Mental Health Emotional detachment plays a crucial role in promoting mental health, serving as a powerful tool to prevent and mitigate conditions such as anxiety and depression. By adopting practices of detachment, individuals can achieve a more balanced and serene state which is essential for a healthy mental life. This topic explores the connection between emotional detachment and mental well-being, emphasizing how this practice can be a vital element in maintaining an emotionally balanced lifestyle. Detachment, when applied correctly, helps reduce the burden of daily worries and excessive expectations, factors that commonly fuel anxiety and depression. By detaching, a person learns to face situations with a calmer, and less personal perspective, which significantly reduces emotional stress. This less reactive and more contemplative approach to life's challenges allows for a more tranquil and less distressing experience. The practice of detachment also encourages acceptance, a vital skill for dealing with life's uncertainties. Accepting that not all events are under our control helps to release the tension associated with the desire to manage every aspect of existence. This acceptance not only alleviates anxiety, but also promotes inner peace as the individual learns to coexist with uncertainty without being shaken by it. Furthermore, detachment can improve the quality of interpersonal relationships by allowing people to interact without excessive expectations or emotional dependencies. 
Healthy relationships are essential for good mental health, and learning to relate in a more relaxed and less controlling manner can lead to more genuine and satisfying interactions. Integrating detachment as a regular practice can be an effective strategy for strengthening mental health. Techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, and breathing exercises are useful methods for developing this skill. These practices help center the mind, reduce emotional reactivity, and increase awareness of the present moment, important foundations for healthy detachment. Throughout this video, we've explored the power of emotional detachment and how it can be vital for robust mental health. I encourage you to implement the practices discussed, such as keeping a journal and meditating, to observe the positive transformations in your life. Share your experiences in the comments to inspire our community. Please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and leave a like to not miss any content. Comment below how you plan to apply or are already applying detachment in your daily life. Let's grow together on this transformative journey.